Yes, now that the JE advanced exam is over, all focus has shifted to the counseling. As you all know, there's going to be a single counseling for IITs, NITs, IIITs, and the GFTIs, that is the government funded technical institutions. And all of these things will come under the ambit of JOSA, Joint Seat Allocation Authority. So uh, the last couple of weeks, we've been getting a lot of requests from parents and students regarding what kind of colleges they will get, et cetera, et cetera. And we've asked them to hold on till the advanced exam was over because the focus has to be on the advanced exam. Now that the advanced exam is over, we will now move on to what kind of colleges they can expect and what they should be doing. Since a lot of interest is there on computer science, so I'm, I'm starting this video series with closing ranks of computer science. We are looking at the sixth round of closing rank. That is the sixth and final round. Last year in 2020, there were six rounds and sixth round was the closing round. So the closing ranks of the last round we will consider today. This will also help in another way. One is that it will help you in terms of knowing the closing ranks of CSE because everybody is interested in CSE. The second is that if you have no other information and if you have no other preferences, if you want to rank the IITs, you can use the closing ranks of a CSE as a proxy to rank the IITs. So you can use this ranking scheme also. So without further delay, let's start off with the top 10. The top 10 IITs based on CSE closing ranks, open category. Please understand that this is open category. And in the case of open category, again, there are two columns here. GN stands for general neutral and F for females. As you all know, there is a special quota for girls. And uh, as you can see, that it is really beneficial for girls. So last year, for example, the closing rank in IIT Bombay for CSC was 66 and for gender neutral, that is for basically boys. And uh, for females, it's 248, all right? So Bombay, 66, 248. Delhi, 105, 521. Madras 158 576, Kanpur 239 809, Karakpur 293 890. That means in the five older IITs, if you are interested in CSE open category boys, your rank should be 293 or lower. In the case of girls, it is it went up to 890. Similarly, Rurki is 422 Hyderabad. Among the second generation IITs, Hyderabad has done very well. It's gone to the seventh position among the overall uh, ranking scheme of the IITs, 584 and 1382. And you can observe that it is ahead of Guwahati. Guwahati, you know, after the top five IITs, uh, uh, the five older IITs, Guwahati was started sometime in the 80s. And Hyderabad has scored over Go Guwahati, maybe marginally. 584 was the closing rank. Uh, last year, and uh, Gohati was 588, marginal difference. Then Varanasi is 885 and 1990, and then Indore, among the second generation IITs, after Hyderabad, you have Indore at 1,222 and 2871. Now, now, let's look at the next 10. The next 10, you have Gandhinagar at 11th position, 1448, 3460, then Ropar, Again, another beautiful uh, IIT in the second generation of IITs. Bhubaneswar, 2251, 3960. Patna, 2719, 6312. Jodhpur, 2818, 5977. Mandi, 2941, 5287. Dunbad, 3029, Now, the third generation IITs, among the third generation IITs, again, Tirupati has started with 4117 and 5270. Goa is 4277-8757 and Palakkad 4855, 4854 and 10,002. That is for females. Uh, let's now look at the last three IITs. You, as you all know, there are totally 23 IITs and uh, the last three, as per the CSE closing ranks, 2020 open category, uh, gender neutral is something like this. Dharwad, uh, 21st position, 5157. Jammu, 22nd position, 5218. And Bilai, uh, 23rd position, 5845. So this will give you some idea 
in terms of how the closing ranks were. And if you are interested in CSE open category, this is how it is. So this also gives you an indicator as to what would be the ranking among the IITs. Uh, if, you are not, if you have no other information, you can take this as a proxy for rating the various IITs. I wouldn't recommend that. You should collect some more information to check your preferences, etc. But if you don't have information, then you can use this as a proxy for ranking. In my next video, I'm going to talk about the uh, closing ranks for CSE among the NITs. And then I will also do a video on triple ITs and other GFTIs. On that note, let's end this uh, video here today. Any other questions that you have on IITs, etc., you can put it in the comment section and we will uh, and our team will come back to you at the earliest. Thank you.